I thought I was too busy to learn any language, but as you can see, I like to make the most of my time. Say that you like sports. Me gustan los deportes. But now I can multitask. I'm learning Spanish while I work out with Pimsleur. Ask her if she hey guys, Louis here, and in today's video, I'm going to do a Pimsleur German review. So I'm going to review the Pimsleur German program, the five levels of Pimsleur German, and I'm going to be answering multiple questions. First of all, is Pimsleur German worth it? That is, can you become uh, fluent conversationally with uh, Pimsleur German. Second question is going to be, well, what degree of fluency can you expect to achieve after completing the five levels of Pimsleur German? And what is the time investment that's required from you? How many months and uh, how many minutes a day? How should you use the Pimsleur program? And finally, I'm going to talk about how you can get uh, the Pimsleur program for a lot cheaper. First of all, I want to talk about pricing. If you want to get a free trial for Pimsleur German, you can actually take a look at the link in the description. You will have a free trial for Pimsleur. Uh, the first uh, lesson is going to be free and then you will have a pricing plan, a subscription plan that's going to be about $20 a month, so a lot less expensive than what you see on the website. So I'm using my own experience with, you know, multiple Pimsleur products and also the fact that I've been learning languages for multiple years. And so I have a good idea of which methods and which techniques for language learning actually fail and which are most likely to succeed. And so I'm using this perspective of my own and just seeing other people for the most part fail and a very few people succeed to evaluate the Pimsleur German program. And this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm on the Pimsleur website right now. And as you can see, they have a 25% off store-wide discount. And so it's actually, you know, still very expensive. If I go to the pricing page for uh, Pimsleur German, I think it's here, you know, the five levels here, it's $575. I mean, that's, that's like really, really expensive. Although I would say, you know, Pimsleur is pretty high quality. So even at this price point, I feel like if there was no other option, then I would probably purchase that, uh, I would say. The first thing I want to answer is, is Pimsleur German worth it? In my experience, absolutely yes. All Pimsleur products, any language, it's absolutely worth it, especially with German because you have five levels, whereas with most uh, Pimsleur products, it's like, you know, three levels, even sometimes just one level for Pimsleur Thai, for example. You will have a very good level in German at the end of the five levels. And let me tell you the reasons why. The first reason is because Pimsleur, unlike a lot of language learning programs and uh, unlike a lot of, you know, uh, textbooks, it's organized not in, you know, sections where you learn, I don't know, about, you know, numbers, you learn about uh, nouns, you learn about adverbs. Pimsleur is organized in dialogues and the dialogues are organized with a spaced repetition in mind. So let me show you what spaced repetition is. This is a graph here. And essentially spaced repetition means that you learn something on day one here, for example. And, you know, just science has shown and my own experience and your own experience, I'm sure has shown that you will forget that information pretty quickly. So it goes down and what most textbooks do and what most language learning programs do is that it just keeps on deteriorating just like that. It's the forgetting curve. So you forget the information, whether it be a vocabulary word, a uh, you know grammar rule or a pronunciation rule or whatever it is. You just keep on forgetting that piece of information. But with Pinsler, because you have daily lessons and it's organized, it's uh, you know scheduled in such a way that is, if you learn about a sentence here, you're going to forget it, but on day two, you're going to review it. That's literally what it is. You're going to review the sentence in Pimsleur, and then you wait two days, and then you wait four days, and so on. And as you can see, the forgetting curve here, as you do more and more reviews, it flattens out. So it becomes, you know, the information becomes more and more solid in your mind. And this is what Pimsleur, Pimsleur does. It's based around this principle of uh, long-term retention, you know, it's better long-term retention so that at the end of the program, you actually know 90% of everything that's in there and you're going to remember it for a long time. That is very much unlike a lot of, you know, language learning sites and language learning products that just, you know, give you a bunch of information and it's fun, but you don't remember a lot of it. So this is the first point here. The second point I want to make also is if you can see the image here, uh, what you're going to get is uh, whatever version you're uh, using, you know, the iPad version, the, 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 the smartphone version. It even works with Alexa, apparently. 
but you know, if you use your smartphone, you can just download an audio lesson. It's going to, to last for 30 minutes. That's all you need to do. You can just, you know, go running and uh, listen to your Pimzo lesson. And that's all you need to do, basically. You don't need to actively just study at a desk and, you know, it's super boring and all that. The fact that it's uh, audio based, so you can see here, there is an audio lesson. They have a bunch of other stuff like flashcards and so on. I personally don't do that, but just having this audio lesson makes it super effective because you don't need to invest any active time doing Pimsleur. And this is a big advantage. This means that you know, it's not, there's not a lot of uh, constraints and you're going to be much more consistent. You're going to be much more likely to follow through and actually do the five levels and reach the end. Because, you know, let's face it, like most people who do, uh, who try to learn a language, the reason why they don't make it to the end is because it's a long endeavor and, you know, it, it's just, they don't have time or they don't want to make the time. But with Pimsleur, you don't actually have to find time it's just, you know, when you're commuting or working out, you, ju you just listen to the lesson. So that's one big, uh, you know, in my opinion, there's no other language learning program like that that allows you to be 100% just audio based. This is a big plus, And this is why I would use Pimsleur for any language that I would start learning. Now, the third point I want to make and the third reason why Pimsleur is so effective, as, as I said, is because it's not just, you're not just listening to the lesson. At some point, you're going to be prompted to participate in the dialogue. So there's a dialogue between two German speakers, and then there is an American person who is going to tell you, okay, now this German person told you that. How do you respond? Or how do you say this in German? Uh, do you remember how to say this in German? And so on. And so this is very powerful because it allows you to actually cement that information much uh, deeper in your mind. Meaning that, you know, if you were just listening passively, you're just, you know, the information is processed at a pretty shallow level. So this is called, you know, depth of mental processing. If you actually have to remember, this is called recall. Recall is much more powerful than just recognition when it comes to uh, language learning or learning in general. You need to test yourself and the information will be much more, much better cemented in your mind and you're more likely to remember it uh, in, the, in the future. So these are... To me, the three, uh, the three reasons why Pimsleur German is so much better than any German language program out there. Now, I want to talk about sort of the what kind of level can you expect to reach with uh, Pimsleur German if you complete the five levels and what is the, the time frame and the time investment. Now, as far as uh, the what kind of level you can reach, well, I've seen some criticism uh, here, for example, that's not the only, you know, Reddit thread, but someone t someone says that, you know, someone is asking how in depth does Pimsleur go with vocabulary, and that's one pretty big criticism of, of Pimsleur is that well, there's not enough vocabulary to reach a high level, and the person the the best answer apparently says Pimsleur won't help a lot with vocabulary, and it's only going to help you with pronunciation and conjugations, uh, automatism. Apparently, in my own experience, Pimsleur is pretty similar in terms of vocabulary compared with other, you know, like textbooks and language learning program, you're going to be exposed to about the same amount of vocabulary. But the big difference with Pimsleur is that because it uses uh, spaced repetition here to make it to make uh, to make you remember the vocabulary in much uh, in the longer term and because it's uh, audio based and so you're listening to the pronunciation and also you're very unlikely to actually you know uh, drop out of the program and because you're prompted to participate you're going to remember 90% of this vocabulary in the long term and you know if you've ever done a textbook on your own of any kind of language you know if you learn German in a textbook most of the vocabulary you're going to forget after a few days a few weeks a few months so that's the big difference Pimsleur is actually much more powerful in terms of just learning vocabulary and vocabulary is really key to learning German, to learning any language. This is really the, the most important aspect, or I should say the bulk of the work that you're going to do is just assimilating uh, vocabulary. And Pimsleur goes in, in depth with that. So precisely, you know, more, uh, let's say concretely, uh, you can expect to learn about uh, 2000 words doing the five levels of Pimsleur. So this is on the Pimsleur website here. They say that for each level, so there are five levels in uh, Pimsleur German, 
you can expect to learn around 300 to 500 new vocabulary items. So if you cut the apple in half, it's about 400 words, uh, new words per level, which is, you know, at the end of the five levels, it's going to be about 2,000, 2000 uh, new uh, German words. So the most common, the 2,000 most common German words, which is about a B1 level. So B1 level, you know, it's the European framework. It's like uh, you reach a B1 level after, uh, if you know the 2,000 most common words in German. This is a pretty good level. You know, when I was in high school, a lot of guys were had been learning German for had been learning English, sorry, for seven years, and in my experience, a lot of them did not have a B1 level after seven years of schooling, which is uh, kind of a shame. But you can reach a much better level with Pims of German than you would after years of you know uh, German schooling if you learn if you were taught uh, German in school, in my opinion, because of the way it's it's uh, structured. Okay, so now I want to talk about pricing because um, I showed you earlier, but uh, Pimsleur German has five levels. And if you want to get all of the lessons, it's going to be $575, which is extremely expensive. Now, even at this price point, in my opinion, if there were no, no other choice, that was like the only plan that you could get, it would be worth it compared with, you know, getting a you know, university course, you go to college, you pay for a German class, it's going to be a lot less effective. Now, you don't need to buy Pimsleur at this price point because there is actually a subscription plan which is not advertised on on the website, but you can actually click the link in this video in the description and it's going to lead you to a page which is going to enable you to register and get a, uh, you know, free account with Pimsleur. You will be able to actually try it out, try the first lesson. Uh, you know, on your own and decide for yourself whether you like it or not. And then after that, you're going to be able to um, to renew the subscription. I mean, continue consuming the lessons for about, I think it's 15 to $20 uh, a month. So for the five levels, you know, five levels, it's five months. So it's going to be 20, about $20 a month. So you're looking at $100 instead of $575. So that's a pretty big, uh, that's a pretty big change. Uh, the other thing as well is if you're interested in other languages, uh, other Pimsleur languages, the thing here is if you pay the $575, you get the Pimsleur German lessons, but that's it. With the subscription plan, there is the option of paying $1 more per, per month, and then you will have access to all of the Pimsleur uh, languages. So for $21, I think it is, you get access to everything, Pimsleur German, Pimsleur Spanish. I mean, who knows, maybe you're interested in those or you wanna share your, you wanna share your uh, subscription with uh, some family members and, and whatnot. So there you go, that's my Pimsleur German review. I hope uh, you will have success with, Pim with Pimsleur. Please write a comment below if you have finished a Pimsleur program in the past. I really want to hear from you. So see you in the next one.